Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the latest update on interstellar comet 3I Atlas, which is now emitting unusual X-rays across a massive 400,000-kilometer region. We explain what's causing this rare glow and what scientists are uncovering from this unexpected cosmic behavior. And now, fresh observations have added an unexpected layer to this unfolding cosmic story. Japanese scientists have detected X-rays being released by 3I Atlas, the third interstellar visitor ever recorded in our solar system. Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency X-ray Imaging and Spectroscopy Mission, or X-RISM, observed the comet between November 26 and 28 and conducted observations with an effective exposure of 17 hours. According to the findings, a preliminary analysis of the data revealed a faint X-ray glow from 3I Atlas. It extends to roughly 5 arc minutes, or 400,000 kilometers around the nucleus of the comet. While it might sound strange, it is common for comets to emit X-rays. According to the study, clouds of gas surround a comet, which are produced as sunlight heats and vaporizes its icy surface. When this gas interacts with the energetic stream of charged particles flowing from the sun, the solar wind, a process called charge exchange reaction occurs, producing characteristic X-ray emission, the researchers noted. The X-rays are likely associated with carbon, nitrogen and oxygen and are different from ordinary background emission, such as galactic X-rays or Earth's atmospheric emission. This provides an important clue that the observed emission may indeed arise from charge exchange interactions between the cometary gas and the solar wind, the researchers wrote. 3I Atlas has created intrigue in the scientific community ever since its discovery on July 1st. It was observed moving at a staggering speed of 200,000 km per hour. The trajectory of the comet is hyperbolic, instantly revealing that it was traveling from outside our solar system, as it is not bound to the Sun's gravity. It flew past Mars on October 2nd to 3, and NASA and ESA orbiters captured a glimpse of the object from a great distance. Later, it reached perihelion on October 29th, that is, the closest point to the Sun. At this point, it showed non-gravitational acceleration and brightened suddenly. Now, it is traveling towards Earth and will reach its closest point to us on December 19th. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.